Gamer, I've been dying to tell you that this video is sponsored by State of Survival. This is by far the best time killing game to avoid your dead beat dad during the holiday. State of Survival is a zombie themed strategy game. It's free to play and available on the Apple and Google Play Store and also available on PC. In this post-apocalyptic world full of exciting twists, turns, and surprises, and a story so grave, it'll decay your bones. With the firm financial foundation, Klein establishes his company, Gigacorp, and completes the research of a deadly weapon. As the survivor of the disaster, you are expected to rebuild your home. Fight against the enemy. Stab, 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 stab. There are over 50 heroes in State of Survival, and players can obtain most of them for free. I picked this one. <sighs> Download State of Survival now using my link below or scan QR code on the screen. Use my creator code WILLIAMSOS to redeem an in-game starter pack. You will also get a free Hot Hero Rusty and tons of resources to level up even faster. The number of starter packs is limited. First come, first serve. If you download the PC version now, you will also enjoy 5% off for topping up. <laughs> Welcome to the Murder Dungeon. On this week's episode, we have... I did a thing. That, that, that's my cue? Yeah, what's your, what's your real name? Do I have to tell that to everybody on the internet? Yes. Well, Alex, thank you for having me here in your... In your murder dungeon, it's best, definitely nicer than the other, other dungeons I've been in. The Egg Drop is a science experiment for young children and YouTubers, where each competitor is responsible for building a contraption capable of protecting a raw chicken egg from a dangerous fall. Do you know how the Egg Drop Challenge works? I, I, I think I do. It's who, who can smash the most amount of eggs in, in 10 minutes? I kind of like that, actually. All right, let's go to the dollar store. You ever been to a dollar store before? No, I'm very excited. Well, don't worry. You're definitely not going to the dollar store today because nothing here costs a freaking dollar. The rules are you get three bucks, not including $3. tax, because here in America, they add tax on to the price after the fact, so it just becomes very confusing. Have you put any thought into this? I haven't really, no. Although, I have been practicing. I've been making omelets without cracking the egg. Yeah. And I've been... That they've been going well, so. I always realize right about now that I don't know what I'm doing. Why did I come here if you don't know what you're doing, William? What, you... what, what, did, you, what did you think you were walking I into? I don't know, like a professional, you know? I appreciate the compliments. <laughs> and sorry to disappoint you. I think that I'm going to try something that I have half an idea of how to do. I think this is all I need to have a successful egg drop and I can spend the rest of my money on snacks. Peanuts. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I'm buying peanuts. The squirrels. You can feed the squirrels, catch the squirrel, shove the egg in the squirrel, and then throw it off the balcony. That's good. Do you have any marsupials with, with pouches yes, here? Yes, possums. Or can I use a possum? Maybe I can catch a possum. You can catch it, yeah. It's pouch. Yeah, yeah. Chuck that is not against the rules. Monster Gronk flavor. What is Gronk flavor? That a, can... That's a character from um, Emperor's New Groove. Welcome back from the dollar store. Thank you. Do you want to show me what you got at the dollar store? I do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this off. Is this stuffy in there? Okay. I got peanuts. I, I don't really have a plan. I just, I like peanuts. Yeah. An oven mitt. Poppets. A wedding card for my sister. I got Gronk flavored monster energy aluminum foil. Do you know what that is? We say aluminium. Uh, aluminium. Yeah, aluminium. Oh, do you want to, do you want to? Uh, rate my Australian accent? Not really, but I guess I Oh, crikey! Uh, throw another prawn on the barbie. At least you said prawn, not shrimp. Well, yeah, so no. Yeah, you get some points for Okay, that. how many out of ten? I think maybe five. Hey! That's so a, you, that's you, failing if, if you're in school, but if you're looking for points, that's five points. I want to hear you do your best American accent. Arby's is my favorite restaurant. Arby's is my favorite restaurant. Do I sound American? Included in your egg drop build, you get Hot glue, we have to share this. Nice. Some tape, it doesn't peel well, so be warned, if you need lots of tape, you gotta go yeah. quick. And this hunting knife. 10 minutes on the clock, starting now. Okay, I have, I'm gonna first taste my gronk. Mm, what, what flavor do we think this is? Is it like, is it sweat? Is it gronk sweat? It's, oh no. That's not good. They're very different to Australian eggs. Why? They're just shiny and they, pointy. They do wash eggs here, so they might have a different texture. A lot of countries don't wash their eggs. I and mean, then I think it's creepy to wash them. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this, I don't know. Eggs are kind of weird if you think too hard about them. Yeah, let's not think about that. Okay, my plan was to create a crumple zone 
um, in a parachute. It's sort of like like that episode of SpongeBob where they chrome everything. I'm just actually gonna copy Mark Rober. <laughs> he took a CVS receipt and he wrapped it around the egg as a crumple zone and then um, dropped it with a parachute. So he basically used only the things that came with the purchase, not the purchase itself. Perfect, it can't come out, oops. <laughs> when did you start making YouTube videos? Uh, I think, I think around a year ago now, somewhere. Only one year? Yeah, no, like- We've been making stuff before then. Yeah, no? I was making stuff before then, but I don't, I don't count that because no one watched it. I've been eating all these peanuts. I feel like I'm gonna accidentally eat the- The shell. Eat, eat the poppets. Oh, <laughs> that would be fun. Oh, have you ever done it where you can snap it between your finger? Do that work? Yeah, it doesn't even hurt either. Whoa. The Americans get to have so much fun. Yeah. You got poppets and guns. And, and, and marijuana. And, oh. Well, that's not American, this is California. So what YouTube channels did you base your YouTube channel off of? <laughs> like I didn't yeah, even, not even uh, assuming he came up with his own ideas. <laughs> just fishing for compliments. Yeah, in yeah your, exactly. In your sex <laughs> yeah. Come on, tell me You don't tell nice them that part. <laughs> what inspired your channel? Like a, a guy's science blog. I was watching, uh, reading a lot of his sciencey posts, and so like the videos were supposed to be more sciencey at the beginning, so that I could like show potential employers like, hey, I can document things or I can make things. Are you afraid to show your employers your videos or your people um, your videos now? I mean, the videos you're doing just hot over here. Yeah. What other questions? I feel like I, I need to ask some uh, better questions. Oh, maybe like what you went to school for, like what you like? Did you do like engineering because you do sciencey stuff? No, I did heaps of. I would so straight out of school. I did primary school teaching, mm -hmm. but then I realized I hate kids. Nursing for a year, then I realized I don't want to help people. And then I did social work. Mm -hmm. um, again, realized I don't really want to help people. Right. And now I'm doing YouTube. Where you hurt people. Yeah, exactly. Most for yourself. Oi, crikey, let's say I'm in the outback of Australia. What, what animal should I be afraid of? I don't even want to answer that. I don't want to encourage you. <laughs> You gave me five points earlier. <laughs> I reckon maybe kangaroos. They're so dumb. They, when you're driving along the road, when you've got your headlights on, instead of running alongside and then going the other way, they run and they jump in front of your car. They're just all suicidal. Like and they think that's gonna help. Yeah, I, maybe. Or maybe it does help. They they just want right. to die. They, <laughs> they just want it all to be over. <laughs> what about koalas? Have you ever had a koala encounter? Not not a koala, but a tree marsupial. Kind of same thing. I was like sitting underneath a tree and a baby possum fell out of the tree and fell right next to me and thought, this guy's tall, he must be a tree. Right. And it ran up me, ran up ran up my back and just started digging into me. So I started spinning around Can and he was it? just hanging on and <laughs> like, clawing like onto on me, your skin. like onto me. And so he ran backwards was, into the actual tree really quick. Was, yeah, terrifying, I killed it. Did you actually? No, I didn't. Oh. No, I didn't. <laughs> would I punch a kangaroo? Yeah. I would, I would punch a kangaroo. That's awesome. I got a Thanksgiving card. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely should still give her a Thanksgiving card for her wedding. It's too late. I'm sorry. It was in the wedding section. <laughs> when is Thanksgiving? Very soon. It's like the end of November. What, what do you guys do for it? Um, we eat food and we, we celebrate the population of people that we, you know. Did you know I'm actually a very bad person? This is the box that you paid 30 Australian dollars to ship oh, to me. No at the beginning of the year. What's the shipping date? Okay. Alex sent me a box of your steel toe Crocs as like a way to promote his own channel and I was like meaning to open them. So now we're opening them. Oh, they're not rusty at all. They look beautiful. So thank you very much for the steel toe. They yeah, they totally fit. Look at that. You could can, can I punch it. Yeah, punch it. Ah! Ooh. They work very well. Welcome to the balcony. Thank you. You ready to throw your egg off the roof? I am. I um, am. Yeah, I, uh, we're gonna make bets. My bet is that mine's going to survive and that yours is going to break. Just copied a, a guy that worked yes. for NASA. Yes, so but it's transformative, not derivative. Do you want to tell me about like what you call your egg drop contraption and how it works? Oh, a name for it. I yeah. with names. Yes. I'll call it the, the nut glove. Okay, I like that. Like, put right, it's my like, nuts, I put my nuts inside a glove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got one of those at home, but not, not this one. Right, yeah, yeah. You, okay, that makes, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I put these little, what are they called, poppets? Yeah, poppers. Poppets on the bottom, and I'm hoping when it hits the ground, it'll, they'll go off. And, and like negative threat, like it'll- Cushion 
you know, like Elon Musk. Like it'll provide a little bit of upward thrust right at the last minute. Definitely, that's gonna happen. Mine's called the exact same as Mark Rober's, but made out of aluminum foil instead. It's aluminum foil crumple zone, aluminum foil side crumple zone, and aluminum foil parachute held on with masking tape. It looks, it looks like it's from the future, and it matches the shoes. That's awesome. All right, well, what's your dropping strategy? I mean, I feel like I'm gonna go for a bit of a spin here. Okay. Not because it's gonna do anything, just because... It'll look cool, maybe? It, yeah, maybe. Three, two, one. Oh, oh it, that was the loudest pop. I didn't plagiarize you, Mark Rober. Please don't sue me. In three, two, one. <laughs> no! Uh, I didn't plagiarize you, Mark Rober. In three, two, one, drop. Oh, death spiral, death spiral. Hey, that didn't sound loud at all. It didn't. Man, I am so good at this. How do you do it? I am a mega genius, and I will not give you any of my secrets. Oh, dude, I can feel like I just kicked right through that door with these shoes. Oh, they definitely bent them a little bit. Let's, uh, let's take a look at what... Uh, I don't want to look. Well, I feel like you have to look because it's... Oh, it, look, it, you did explode when I could have been the pop. That was probably Oh, two the of them. No, I'd probably save two. Um, yeah, yeah. There is no way There's to survive. No way. There I'm is no a way. Yoki mix. Oh, yeah, the, peanuts. the peanuts are just <laughs> wet. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was expecting. Right? It's just <laughs> oozing through the cracks in the deck. It's so gross. <laughs> really get the get the flavors going in there. All right, and we'll take a look at world-renowned super genius William Osman. Oh, look at that. Look at, look at that. My egg drop is just... Well, you copied a, a NASA engineer and your, your egg survived. <laughs> Who would have thought that? Congratulations Whoa. to me. And Mark Rober. And Mark Rober. Congratulations to Mark Rober for being smart enough to invent this and William Osmond to being smart enough to plagiarize it. Well, congratulations. It's, it's the spirit that's within us that counts, not the, how the... <coughs> it's the spirit that resides within that matters, not the, the exterior of the egg in wholeness, you know? Oh, that's disgusting. I can't believe you're wearing that. Anybody you want to thank? Someone I don't want to thank. The Queen of England? No, the American military, and I copied theirs, and it didn't work, yeah. and it's, yeah. don't copy the American military. It's actually the Navy, to be more specific. Don't copy the American Navy. Well, thank you very much, no. and I hope to see you next time on, um, I don't know, I'm just making this up as I go. Goodbye, everybody. Leave a comment down below of who you want to see on this amazing show next. <laughs>